and welcome to the Action Brick, and welcome to finally another episode of Brick Bam, where I take a set, I break it apart, and I build it, I rebuild it into three different models. Uh, so today we have the Lego Exosit. I went to the Lego store, I saw this on the shelf, and I thought it might be an interesting set to do a Brick Bam on. Plus, it has some pretty cool pieces, and uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go take a look at these three builds. Alright, so our first build is this hovercraft. Now this hovercraft comes with a little platform that it can land on uh, with some minor details uh, that you can see right there. Uh, moving on to the actual hovercraft, you can see that there is a lady astronaut piloting it. And uh, actually this is a two uh, driver uh, vehicle. So you can, at the back you can see uh, there is a male astronaut piloting the backside. Uh, and then we also have some twin cannons that they can use to defend themselves against the aliens or robots or whatever they're fighting. Uh, and so you can see that there are these giant engines that propel the thing. Uh, and so yeah, you can see the, those minor details on the side. And uh, so there is the hovercraft. And up next we have, yes, a robot dinosaur. Now if we take a look at the feet, you can see there's a very simple concept, uh, similar technique used with the hands in the official set. And moving up, you can see that we have uh, some uh, ver a variety of detail pieces just to give it that machine look. We also have a an astronaut uh, flying, or not flying, but uh, kind of piloting the the robot dinosaur. And here is the uh, head uh, that it has, and it has some horns right there, and those glowing red eyes. And there are its little short arms, and uh, just a quick look at that detail, and uh, its tail focus you can see that it has uh, these um, specialized uh, round bricks and then it just comes down into that antenna piece so there is your robot dinosaur and last but not least we have a planetary base camp now this is something that the astronauts can use as sort of um, a maintenance area or a refueling station or a research uh, facility. So um, basically, we uh, have a detailed exterior as well as an interior. Uh, we have some bars right here and a tube that connects to the top of it. Uh, you can kind of see the tent structure that I've used and uh, some uh, transparent yellow bricks uh, on the outside there. And then on the inside, we have also some control panels and uh, some of these yellow uh, tanks that can store food and a variety of items so uh, there is that and also there is uh, this little uh, tiny little vehicle I created right here uh, there weren't any wheel pieces so I had to improvise with other elements that were round uh, so I had these two by two uh, uh, I guess tiled tile bricks uh, they're round and uh, I with, with the hole in the center so I use those as a front wheels and then I use these uh, there are three studs long, uh, these Technic uh, wheel bricks um, for that, and also here are just uh, some more details added, uh, some of these red lights, and also this, these two handlebars right here, and then there's the back. So uh, he can go uh, right around in the base camp, and so there is your planetary base, blah, planetary base camp. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of Brick Bam. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts uh, on these models and which one is your favorite. Uh, and also, I look forward to beginning uh, some of the Force Awakens sets uh, so I can do Brick Bam on those as well. So look forward to that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay cool.